Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create this beautiful looking 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's remove this text effect first and let's start creating from scratch. The font I'm using for this text, text effect is knickknack and the font size will be 200 point. Let's center this to the artboard. Next click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here click on this icon add new fill and next keep selecting this fill layer then we'll go to gradient panel. Here apply a default black and white gradient and change the angle to 90. Now double click on this point and let's change the colors. Now double click on this point and change the colors. Next, go to appearance panel. Keep selecting this layer and now duplicate this layer. Now select this first one layer. Again, go to the gradient panel and let's change the colors. Change the angle to minus 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel. Keep selecting this layer, then go to effect, path, and offset path, and apply a minus one pixel offset path. Click OK. Again, select this layer, then go to effect, distort and transform, and transform, and here apply in move section 1.3 pixel and 1.3 pixel next click ok now select this layer duplicate this layer and let's change the color of this layer Now change the angle to 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here keep selecting this layer then go to effect, distort and transform and transform and in move section apply this value and we need 35 copies then click OK. Keep selecting this layer again go to effect stylize and inner glow and here click on this color and let's change the color then click ok change the blend mode to multiply and keep the opacity to 75 percent and change the blur to 7 pixel then click ok next select this layer duplicate this and drag this to bottom here let's change the color of this layer then click OK next go to effect path and offset path and apply a 3 pixel offset path and then click OK keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section apply 12 pixel vertical value and then click OK. Next keep selecting this layer then go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and apply a 3 pixel Gaussian blur and then click OK. Next select this layer, duplicate this, drag this to bottom and let's change the color of this layer. This time we'll go to gradient panel and let's change the colors. Here 
here keep the angle to 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel keep selecting this layer then go to effect path and offset path apply a 9 pixel offset path and then click OK next keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section apply a 1 pixel for horizontal and 9 pixel for vertical and then click OK next keep selecting this layer and let's duplicate this layer now select this layer and let's change the colors double click on this point change the angle to minus 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel here keep selecting this layer click on this arrow then click on transform and here in move section apply a zero pixel horizontal value and for vertical we need eight pixel then click ok next select this layer and duplicate this drag this layer to bottom and let's remove some of properties let's change the color of this layer and here apply this color then click OK click on offset path and change the offset path value to 13 pixel then click OK and select this Gaussian blur and remove this now keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section apply a 0 0.8 horizontal value and 9 pixel for vertical and then click OK next duplicate this layer keep selecting this layer and then we'll go to gradient panel and let's apply default black and white gradient and let's change the colors and we'll apply a 83 percent location for this point let's create another point and change the location to 55 and let's change the color of this point create another point and change the location to 30 let's change the color of this point let's change the color of this point to this one and change the angle of this layer to minus 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel next click on transform and let's change the values in move section we need a 0 pixel for horizontal and 8 pixel for vertical and then click OK keep selecting this layer and then we'll go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and in move section keep the 0 pixel for horizontal and 0 0.25 for vertical and we need 36 copies then click OK next keep selecting this layer then go to effect stylize and inner glow click on this color and let's apply this color then click OK apply a 75 percent opacity and 10 pixel blur then click ok next let's create another layer duplicate this layer and drag this layer to bottom now 
click on this arrow click on offset path and let's change the offset path to 17 pixel then click ok click on this transform and let's change the values of horizontal to 1 pixel and for vertical we need 17 pixel then click ok next keep selecting this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 3 pixel gaussian blur and then click ok let's change the opacity of this layer to 70 percent and blend mode to multiply and let's also change the opacity of this layer to 35 percent and blend mode to multiply so keep selecting this layer duplicate this layer now select this layer and let's change the colors then click ok next click on this arrow then click on transform and change the offset path value to 18 pixel then click ok next keep the transform value as it is and then click on gaussian blur and let's delete this change the opacity to 100% and blend mode to normal keep selecting this layer and then go to effect stylize and inner glow click on this color and apply a simple white color then click ok change the opacity to 45 percent and 10 pixel to change the blend mode to screen and blur to 10 pixel then click ok next keep selecting this layer duplicate this layer now select this layer click on this arrow then click on offset path and change the offset path value to 15 pixel then click ok now click on transform and here let's change the move values by 0.7 for horizontal and 14 pixel for vertical and then we'll click ok next click on this inner glow and let's delete this for now let's change the color of this layer to this one and then click ok next select this layer duplicate this drag this to bottom keep selecting this layer and let's change the colors double click on this point and let's change the color now change the color of all these points one by one let's change the angle to 90 and then we'll go to appearance panel here click on this arrow click on offset path and change the offset path value to 15 pixel then click ok next click on this transform and change the values for horizontal we'll keep 0 pixel and for vertical we'll change to 15 pixel then click ok click on this second transform and here in move section apply a 0 pixel for horizontal and 0 0.5 for vertical and we need 
30 copies for this time then click OK next click on inner glow click on this color and let's change the color then click OK keep the opacity to 75 percent and change the blur value to 8 pixel and keep the blend mode to multiply then click OK next let's select this layer duplicate this layer drag this layer to bottom and let's change the color of this layer then click OK click on this arrow click on offset path and change the offset path value to 11 pixel then click OK next click on transform and let's change the move values for horizontal we'll keep 0 pixel and for vertical we need 30, 29 pixel then click OK next keep selecting this layer then go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and apply a 4 pixel Gaussian blur then click OK let's move this layer a little bit more downwards here I think 35 pixel will be good then click OK next keep selecting this layer duplicate this layer now select this last layer click on this arrow then click on transform and let's change the values to from 35 pixel to 40 pixel then click OK click on Gaussian blur and let's change the value to 8 pixel I think let's go to 12 pixel then click OK let's change the opacity to 70 percent then click OK again select this layer duplicate this layer click on this arrow and click on offset path and increase the offset path value to 15 pixel click OK change the Gaussian blur to 25 then click OK change the opacity to 50 percent now click on type then go to effect warp and then click on arc and let's apply a 8% band and here we go again you can change the drop shadow values as you want so here is our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching